It's in quarantine, y'all. We're in quarantine, okay? Things are not the way they're supposed to be. But we are gonna let you in on our nightly skincare routine. Hey Harpers, my name is Nico Tortorella. Oh my god. Start from the top. What's your skin type? Perfect. I have perfect skin. I mean, let's be honest here. My skin used to be a hot mess. A hot mess. All over the place. I don't want to say a hot mess. It was probably I had problematic skin. It was hot, but it was a mess. We lived in Chicago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm combination. I know all about my skin because I have had problematic skin forever. Right. You know those days because we've do. known each other for 14 years. Mm -hmm. P.S. We're married. I mean, I go to bed a good 15 minutes before you do every yeah. night. Yeah. Well, I think that like my nightly routine is my wind down. Right. Yeah. Like it's my grounding place. Yeah. It's really self care, you know? We're going to cleanse. We're going to deface, mm -hmm. then we're going to take you on a little adventure, a little school, what's it called in school when you go on a vacation? A recess. No, when you leave school. A holiday, spring no, break? No, when you leave school to go with the class somewhere. Field trip! We're going on a field trip. And we're gonna take you to our skincare heaven in our living room. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna come back in here, we're gonna do some lotions, we're gonna do some serums, we're gonna do a lot of oil, and then I'm gonna go to bed and then Bethany will do 10 more things, and then they'll go to bed. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the look right oh, there. Yeah. That's the look. Kale, green tea, spinach, vitamin superfood cleanser from Youth to the People, made in California, and it's a glass bottle. I have been trying to look for more products with glass bottles because plastic. Mm. When you wash your face, get it nice and wet first, and the strokes that you make in your face, I think are super important. So it's always this way, this way, this way. Does it smell like kale? How much kale do you think is actually in there? A whole head. <laughs> A whole head for your head. So what's next? Your toner? Ta-da! Okay, yeah. So... Uh, witch hazel. Love a witch hazel. I think I, I got you onto witch hazel. Yeah, I think so too. That's probably one that you did. It's just a classic, you know. Yeah. I got onto witch hazel at various. work. Productions love witch hazel. Mm -hmm. It's also very affordable. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've done that, and now I'm gonna do a face spray. Uh, this face spray is by a company called Wildling. They are incredible. They make a face spray and an oil. Also fun, it's a glass bottle, and it's a woman-owned company, small business, support. Okay, a little bit of oil. I think that a lot of people feel like they can't use oil on their face because they'll break out. I used to feel that way, but if you use oil appropriately, um, it can be really incredible. Okay, and then I will use these tools. But first, we clean my face. All right, um, the first thing I like to do if I have makeup on my face is take a hit of coconut oil. <laughs> we just got some organic cold pressed coconut oil. You gotta get around the eyes, you gotta get the lips. You know, the beard is a whole other situation. We'll get to that later. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that face wiping. And then you use Bethany's towel. No, wait! This is a product that I've been loving. Lately, it's called Fourth Ray AM to the PM. It's a gel cleanser. They also make a cleansing oil, which uh, if you don't have coconut oil, this is a lot more expensive. Back to the scorching hot. And you work. And we're good to go. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Nico. That's it, my face is clean. Let's see. Wow. What about? Babe, this is family friendly show. <laughs> Field trip time. <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! All right, we promised it, and now it's coming your way. Field trip time. Uh, this is our sauna. So we got the sauna before we had 
a dining room table. Yep, this was one of the first things in the living room. And really before we had a couch, before we had anything. But we love this thing, so we're getting in. I do about an hour a day in here. I do a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. It depends. The colder it is outside, the more I'm in the sauna because I'm always cold. Totally. Yeah. But it is incredible to do before you go to sleep because this is an infrared sauna, clear light infrared sauna, and it just literally pulls all of the toxins directly out of your skin. Just like. <laughs> You're going to give us a tutorial on this gua sha stone, correct? Yes. There are all kinds of gua sha stones, but this one's made by Wildling Beauty. And the reason that I love gua sha is because one, it helps lift and plump, and it also helps drain toxins from your face. It helps move the lymph. Mm. It helps release jaw tension. It helps with TMJ. It helps with sleeping. And it just it's feels really it good. It feels so good. <sighs> I got it, and then you started stealing my stone all the time. Yeah. All right, so the key in doing gua sha is to have a little bit of slip on your face to try to keep the stone somewhat flat and to not push too hard and to pull from both directions at the same time. So the best stroke in the squasha starts like right back here, kind of behind your ear and your jaw. If you pull down on that, it's a natural lymph drainage and like the dumpster is right here in this like, what is that clavicle mm -hmm. kind of hole, right? But that is how you depuff your face. So after a flight, if you do like this stroke down, this stroke down, you do those, face is ready to go. Uh, my quarantine high, you know, I have an online business and workout and we've been able to do some giving back, which has felt, you know, empowering in a powerless time. What's your high of quarantine? Oh, you're taking my high away from me. Let's <laughs> kill. My high is finally being able to put some love, energy, blood, mm. sweat, and tears into this house. Mm -hmm. Getting our hands dirty. You're stranded on a desert island. What's the one thing that you take? I knew with you were you? gonna ask me that. What's the one thing skin skincare wise you take with you? Oh, skincare wise? Mm -hmm. Actually though, if I were really going to a desert island, I think I would take like a moisturizing sunscreen. Because who cares if I get a pimple? If I'm yeah. stranded on a desert island. Totally. <laughs> okay, what skincare would you take? I would probably take coconut oil. I felt like you would take skin food. Skin food in a, on a desert island. I like skin food when it's cold outside. Mm. All right, y'all. Hour is up. We are going to go take a shower. And then we're going to start our nightly moisturization routine. The most important part. Seriously. We'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> All right. So I've just gotten out of the shower and I'm going to start applying skincare. The first product that I love, I use, I've been using this for like four years, is called Lumion Skin. It's an oxygen serum. Um, the main ingredient is something called hypochlorous acid. If you've never heard of this ingredient, you're going to start hearing about it soon. But it's super, super natural. It's basically water, salt, and oxygen. And this is actually found, I know this is gonna sound wild, but it's found in our white blood cells. And so this product with like, I think long-term use is best, but it helps to clear your skin and even things out. So like right now, I have a little pimple right there. Back in the day, um, that would have been like a week long thing that would have gotten bigger. Tomorrow, this will be gone. And I fully attribute it to this stuff. So it's not a replacement for anything else. Um, just anytime my skin is bare and clean, I put it on like you're seeing me do now till my skin is wet and then I let it dry. Number two, I kind of switch between different things. So sometimes I use an oil, sometimes I use a lotion. Um, it kind of depends. Today, I'm just simply going to use my very, very favorite lotion. It's called Own Botanicals. <laughs> 
It's so mom and pop, it's not fancy. The ingredients are absolutely incredible. It's also completely unbleached and unprocessed. So the tube is designed in a way so that they didn't have to use any of those chemicals. It also looks like this. It's like very kind of thick and like a little bit green, like matte. I really love this stuff. I use it liberally. I have this on a subscription order, so I get it all the time. And then you'll notice that when I'm putting lotion on my face, I'm actually following the lines and the patterns of my face. So I'm coming up around my forehead, into my temples. From underneath my eyes, I pull out up to my temples once again. And then I do the same thing underneath my cheekbone. And then when I get down here, I kind of make like a circular position to relax my jaw. And then I pull down. Um, I love this lotion so much. I also use it for my neck and I even use it on my hands. Can't forget about the decolletage. The next thing that I think is really important is that you groom your eyebrows at night. So like most people, I had whittled my eyebrows down to nothing when the super thin eyebrow look was cool. Uh, my tips for growing your eyebrows back, number one, throw away your tweezers. Don't touch them, just see what your eyebrows will actually grow on their own. I haven't used tweezers in years, so put those away, start letting it grow, and then you have to like brush them at night. So I have um, a castor oil. Sometimes I use argan oil. This one's from Creole Essence. Um, you basically take a clean mascara wand, take some oil, and then quite literally, brush your brows. I always brush up, so think about brushing them in the direction that you want them to grow. But this has definitely reshaped my eyebrows and it conditions them. And then castor oil is an oil that's known to help hair growth. Um, for eye cream, I use this brand called Kanuka. It's Manuka honey and CBD. I've never been very into the CBD kick, but I do really, really, really love this stuff. My mama always taught me that when you apply your eye cream, you do it with your ring finger, nice and light, which is funny because the gua sha technique is to literally drag the skin. Like we've learned that kind of doing some pulling at your skin can actually be better. But this stuff is very, very thick in consistency. Um, you can see like I really a shine on my eye. It's super thick, so I love this stuff during the winter. I will also often apply it on my lips just because it's so ultra conditioning. I feel like my nighttime routine is almost a bit meditative for me. Super, super grounding and like calming. And then I'm going to finish with another face spray. This one is from this little shop in Brooklyn. They're amazing, they're currently closed, but you can order online. This is a pore refining mineral mist. I really, really love this stuff. So I use it in a couple ways. I will sometimes mix it with the lotion that I use, like the moisturizer. Sometimes I'll spray it with the oil that I use. A little bit of like water can help those things absorb into your skin more. But right now I'm just gonna use it to finish everything off. And I spray. And that's it. Hey y'all, we are out of the sauna, out of the shower, and it's time for a little moisturization. Now, there's like a handful of go-to products that I have. Currently, I am out on a couple of them. Um, but recently I have found this Nekayo. Um, it is a rescue oil. It's maracuja and yangu. It's a like a restorative oil. Um, I put like a good dollop in my hand and just really get it in there. Um, and, oh, it smells so good. You can see it's just like, oh, she glistens. This Mary's Nutritionals, it's a hemp oil. This is an extract, it's called The Remedy. It smells like, like cinnamon love. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, comes in a little dropper. And again, just put a nice little dollop in there. Hit that real good. 
Double the oil, double the fun, y'all. Kiehl's lip balm. Just get a nice hit there for bedtime. Uh, I'm gonna hit the groomed man, the spruce beard oil to go to sleep in. It is very important to properly hydrate your beard. Human beings that grow beards. Mm, that just smells so good. Okay, and last but not least, um, which you may find somewhat peculiar, I always put on deodorant before I go to bed. I do. Um, this primal paste, obsessed. It's a natural deodorant. Um, it's baking soda and activated charcoal, aluminum and paraben free. You know, you just work it in there. True story, I have ginger armpits. Who knew? And that's pretty much it. That's my routine. It's pretty, pretty basic. That being said, we have done a lot. It has been wonderful spending some time with you tonight. Hey, Bethany, get your butt over here. Yeah, baby. It has, oh, I can't. too tall. It has been <laughs> wonderful. We love you so much. We love Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Stay safe. Stay sane. Wash your face and your hands. Yeah, and just like trust your instinct, you know? Just trust your, trust your gut here. Yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect all the time. No. The world's a weird place. And we're just a couple weird beings trying I'm to figure it out. just gonna say that. I love you. <laughs> love you. Love, love you, Harper's. I love you too. Bye. Good night.